Let's practice some more formatting in Excel 2013. So we begin by highlighting multiple cells and clicking on Merge and Center. So when you click on the button here, Merge and Center, notice how this, these nine cells are now treated as one cell. So you can make a nice flag here if, even if you wish. If I just Merge and Center again, and if I type in Top and then Bottom, you can just color these using the Fill tool here. You have the color yellow, and now we have the color green. It looks like some kind of flag of the world. You can highlight both cells and click on the little drop down box here in the Home tab, Thick Box Border, and this looks like a flag. Now let's click on one of the, the cells here, the top one, and notice how in terms of alignment it is centered. But keep in mind there's something called Middle Align. Middle Align actually allows you to center vertically. So if I left justify, I can I can right align, uh, I can even center it, and I can even uh, top align or bottom align, I can center align. So this is something that you might come in handy in terms of formatting things. All right, let's highlight these cells, press delete. You can clear these, uh, clear everything here. So now it's back to the way it was before. The, the little eraser button is useful for clearing, clearing things. And uh, so let's uh, try to do some more stuff here. If I type in uh, 79.99, let me make that a bit bigger for you. Press, uh, type in 20 there. Um, so we have 79.99. If you click on a, a number or a range of cells, I'm clicking on that one cell. Notice how we can press the little accounting number format, the dollar sign here, which adds a little nice um, dollar sign as well as it, up, it kind of right aligns it. So if I type in 199.99, and I'm going to apply this size 22 to my entire worksheet by clicking on this top left corner here, highlight everything, click on, type in 20, press enter. So if I highlight the entire worksheet and click on a little accounting dollar sign symbol, everything here is now um, dealing with numbers and, it, and the decimals line up nicely. This is good for adding up values. Now what if I were to undo that, so let me just uh, clear everything, clear all. So now we're back to the way we were before. I do like that size 20 font. What if we type in uh, 0.43, or we'll talk about baseball, we'll just type in 0.304, which is a great batting average. You want to convert that to a percentage, just click on the percentage button here. And now you can see it's 30%. So if I type in some number here, such as uh, 1,000, and this is uh, 30%, this is actually 0.3, and then I can actually write down here equals this number times this percentage, which is actually 0.3, enter, and you can see it's 304. Notice how if you look care very carefully at uh, this uh, percentage, it's actually in the formula bar 30.4%, but because this percentage uh, button here is rounded to the nearest percent, you only see 30%. However, if you actually hit this button here, uh, increase decimal, and then you can actually see the uh, additional decimal places. So it's nice that Excel actually keeps the, um, the decimals that you don't see and computes those so that you have more accuracy. Let's say you do, you know Excel so well that you have so much time left over in your day and you're bored and you want to make your spreadsheet very pretty. I'll just show you something fun. I'm going to right click the actual row number here, right click row 1. Let's make the row, row height, let's change it from 26 to let's say 10. It's very skinny. And then I will make this one row height 10 as well. And then I'll make these two rows. I'm going to highlight both rows at the numbers, right click row height. Let's make these 10 as well. Let's try something fun. I'm going to click on the number 3, which highlights the entire row up to infinity. So right click. I'm going to actually merge and center these. So now this is actually completely um, completely uh, going on to infinity. Even if I move to the right here, in my little ABCDs, all these columns are going past the Z to or Z to A, 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 B, A, C. This is centered to infinity, therefore we will never see what the center text will look like. So I'm gonna left I'm gonna left align this and I'm gonna type in 
hello, uh, some beautiful title. Okay, so make sure you don't merge and center it. If you center it, then you'll, you'll never see it because it goes on to infinity. Anyways, let's um, left align that and change the color. I'm just going to leave the color, let's say, light blue. And because we have so much time in our hands, let's uh, right click row 2, change the uh, color of the fill to, we'll say, um, I'll just say dark gray. So we'll just choose this dark gray in this corner. Let's do the same with 4. And we'll go to um, the fill color. We'll change dark gray. Just have some symmetry here. Oops. Highlight that. Hit this little paint bucket sign. And then on row 1, I'm going to click that and make this a lighter gray. So the idea of using some kind of like shading can, can look very nice. Let me just choose a little bit darker color there. How is that one there? The second one. So I choose row 5 and hit that same color. And you can see this can be quite beautiful depending on you know how much you play around with this. You can even bold the font. and and sometimes people have some pretty fancy dancy spreadsheets because they play around with and try to make things pretty. Let's highlight a couple of cells here and practice a little bit more. I'm going to right click, go to format cells. Notice how you can play around with these settings here. There's a nice fill color. You can try some fill effects here. For example, if I choose the uh, idea of a um, gradient from one color to another. This is a fill effects. You can choose your actual color. So from white to blue ends up in having some kind of nice gradient effect. And you can choose which one you want. You can even choose diagonal type colors. Click on OK. And then OK. And you can see that we even have some nice uh, gradient type effects. Interesting. Let's highlight these six cells and try some more. Right click format. And let's try border and say you want to get all fancy dancy, you want to choose a nice double line which is use, useful for accounting and if you actually click on outline you can see it applies it to all of these the edges of these cells, click on OK and you can see there's a nice double outline here let's try it again let's uh, right click format and something interesting to note is if you want to get rid of it you need to click on none first and then if you just want to apply to the bottom uh, choose the bottom option. So therefore, we're selecting these six cells. When you choose none, and then you choose the bottom option, and click on OK. So we click OK. And then you will see that the uh, double line has been applied to those cells. Alright, so hopefully you had some more good practice with formatting. You now have the ability to make your Excel spreadsheets a lot more pretty. Now be careful, don't get too good at Excel, because then with all that free time, people will keep asking for help and, and therefore you won't really be saving any time at all.